To this point, we haven't yet recorded any waveform data. We've been in a setup mode as shown in the status area of the WinDAC display. Since WinDAC is a true disk streaming product, the first thing we need to do is specify a target data acquisition file. From the file pull down menu, select Open. This action yields the familiar Windows File dialog box where we can specify a file name to which we'll stream acquired data. Since WinDAC applications associate files with a WDQ extension, we'll type the file name demonstration.wdq as our target file and click Open. This generates another dialog box that prompts for the size of the file to be acquired in either kilobytes or record time. WinDAC can stream data to file sizes of any length. If, for example, we specify a file size of 1,000 kilobytes and press the Tab key, WinDAC calculates a total record time of 1 hour, 25 minutes, and 14 seconds at the current sample rate. Alternatively, we can specify a record time of, say, 1 hour and 30 minutes and press the Tab key. WinDAC will calculate a file size of 1,056 kilobytes. Clicking OK returns us to the WinDAC display screen. Notice that our target file name now appears in the WinDAC title bar. With our file name and size specified, we're only one mouse click away from recording data. From the file pull down menu, select Record. Notice that status immediately changes from Setup to Record. Near the top of the Windac screen, new annotation, Storage Percent Used, appears to indicate how much of our 1 hour and 30 minute file is consumed by data. When this number reaches 100%, our file is full. Even though WinDAC is currently streaming waveform data to disk, notice that its real-time display remains unaffected. We can even adjust any display parameter we want, like screen scaling, compression, and display format, without interrupting the stream-to-disk process and without affecting the values of recorded data.